Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another workout video. Before we proceed with today's action, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Don't forget to also tap the notification bell so you can get updates whenever I post a video. We begin today's workout with some lateral raises. We'll be focusing on building our shoulders, biceps, and triceps today. Right after we finish our first exercise, we proceed to the biceps, starting with some single single double bicep curls. And as you can see, I extend my arms all the way down to the bottom. That is very important for you to do. Our third exercise will be some double tricep extensions. And as you can see, I'm allowing my arms to come all the way down so I can get full range of motion and my elbows are slightly pointed towards the outside. After you have rested for about 30 to 40 seconds, you're gonna go ahead and repeat all of the exercises all over again, beginning with a lateral raise. If you haven't already done so, please don't forget to like the video. The more you like the content, the more YouTube pushes it out so more people can find out about the channel. So I appreciate it. This is the final exercise for group 1 and it will be our tricep extension. After this, we are going to start a whole separate new group. Stay tuned. Welcome to group 2. We begin the first exercise in group 2 with the front raises and while you are performing this exercise, Keep in mind that it's important for you to create a wide enough base for yourself so you don't use too much momentum while lifting the weights up. Now we move on to our next exercise working on the biceps, doing some single single double hammer curls. And while you're performing this move, it's important to take your time as you perform each single curl. exercise in this group will be a single dumbbell overhead tricep extension. While you're performing this move, it's important to try your best to keep your elbows as close to your head as possible. As soon as you finish with this move, you're going to go ahead and rest for about 30 to 40 seconds, then you're going to go ahead and jump into the next group. We begin round 2 with our first exercise which will be the front raises. If you really want to know how to grow the body, it is important for you to have this understanding. 
that the body will only grow depending on the type of situation that you put it through. So if you put it under some extreme and hard situations, it will grow. But if you make it comfortable at all the time, it will become stagnant. So you get to decide. Here we go with the final exercise for group 2. And as soon as we finish this, we're going to go ahead and rest for about 30 to 40 seconds. Then we're going to begin the next group, group 3. Welcome to group 3. We begin the first exercise in group 3 by performing some static front pulls. Now, as you perform this movement, it's important to really, really isolate your shoulders. Keep it strong the whole entire time while you're holding the opposite dumbbell. exercise will be a curl twist. You're performing a reverse grip curl into a twist, activating your brachialis and your biceps. Our third and final exercise in this group will be the inside tricep extensions. Now, this is a great workout for the triceps and it gives you good isolation on the shoulders as well. Now we begin group three, round two. Starting off with our first exercise, bent over front pulls. And I forgot to mention the first time, while you're performing this move, it's important to pull the dumbbells towards your neck. That way, you put all of the focus exactly where you want it, on your rear delts. stuff to get it complete. As you can see, we are going to go ahead and do our best to make sure we get all reps and all sets of these workouts completed. We should do the same thing. final group of exercises with two combination movements starting with the first one some curl uppercuts as you perform this move it's important to take your time and complete each individual move
this, we're gonna get on our knees to reduce all momentum away from this next move. This next combination movement is a combination of overhead tricep extension into a front press, really putting all the pressure on our triceps. This will be the last group of exercises in this final group. And then after this, that will conclude our whole entire workout for today. So go ahead, finish strong. today and if you've gotten this far i would like to say thank you for sticking this far through please don't forget to leave me a comment let me know what your thoughts are on this content for today and until next time peace